All right, news alert now. We have uh, Troy over this in Sky Fox. This is that 67th Avenue and I-10 in the eastbound lane. So, uh, Troy Barrett, what do you have for us? Yeah, the eastbound lanes uh, starting to open up with just a little bit as uh, some of the debris and cars are being moved off toward the HOV lanes and the uh, left side there. We have, it looks like, six vehicles involved. Whatever started this happened way back here. You can see all of these uh, skid marks kind of going in multiple directions across the lanes. Involved in this is a tow truck. You can see the front end of that tow truck just demolished, as well as a uh, an Audi over here that is, has some pretty significant rear end damage. We do have other tow trucks on scene here to try to clean this up, but we do have uh, several other vehicles involved, uh, as well as a, a semi-truck, and there's a pickup truck down here as well that was also involved in all of this. Looks like DPS and uh, uh, ADOT are here, and they're doing their best to get all the debris off of the actual roadway and onto the HOV lane and that little uh, side lane there where there's an opening and uh, kind of an emergency lane. But the damage is done as far as traffic is concerned. We'll take you back. We're going towards 75th Avenue and 83rd. Wow. And you can see all of the traffic here, even all Whoa. the way back as we get toward the uh, 101 stack there. You can see that just really backing things up all the way uh, into the Tolleson and Avondale area. And even off onto the 101, there's a few vehicles there you can see they're trying to transition from the 101 onto the 10 and it's backing that up as well so the damage is really severe uh, on i-10 and even the 101 as they're trying to recover from this uh, six vehicle crash 67th avenue and i-10 yeah i'm not sure there's a busier stretch of freeway in the morning than eastbound i-10 troy and and the one thing i will say and i've, I've been driving this stretch more often it's been spending more time in the west valley but as you're coming up on that brand new 202, there always seems to be kind of some slowing in that area and you, what looks like somebody maybe not paying attention or something and you have a big rear end crash. Is there slowing right as you get close to that new 202? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I drive this quite often as well, and, and uh, you're absolutely right. There seems to be a big backup that happens right around 75th Avenue. There's a lot of people changing lanes, and then uh, uh, the traffic gets backed up quite a bit on 75th. And then you get that 202 transition there where you get two extra lanes, and it gets a little confusing for people, and you're absolutely right. It is so busy, especially this time of the morning, real easy to get uh, wrapped up in a, in a crash here. Yeah. So the bottom line is this, you're watching this report, you have to go from west to east, you probably want to find a different route at least over the next, what would you say Troy, next maybe hour or so till this gets cleared up, maybe more? Yeah, yeah for sure, we got another hour or so, I bet things will be back to normal. Alright, Troy Barrett and Sky Fox, thank you for the reporting Troy.